13 Action News Update sponsored by Silver State Schools Credit Union. Happy Friday to you. I'm Ross DiMatteo right now with your 13 Action News Update. Jose Ron Hell, the man who police say helped his son after he allegedly killed Leslie Palacio, has pleaded guilty to destroying evidence and being an accessory to murder. He had previously pleaded not guilty back in March. Leslie Palacio was 22 years old when she was reported missing in August of 2020. Her body was found in September. Ron Hell and his son Eric Ron Hell Ibarra reportedly ran away to Mexico. The father turned himself in and the son is still on the run. The DMV is warning about private vehicle sales after seeing a spike in recovered stolen vehicles. This year, the department has recovered 27 stolen vehicles. Officials say one common scheme is selling a rental car that is still under contract and hasn't been reported stolen. It says the best way to see if a vehicle is stolen or not is to bring it to a DMV inspection station and complete the sale there. A big congratulations to Major General Case Cunningham. Just this morning, he assumed command of the U.S. Air Force Warfare Center at Nellis Air Force Base. Major General Cunningham is a command pilot with more than 3,200 flying hours, including more than 600 combat hours in multiple areas of operation. And we are just staying hot, 114 for the high Saturday and Sunday. A lot going on there, though. Juneteenth and Father's Day, very hot, dangerously hot. So again, just stay hydrated and just try to avoid the heat as much as possible as this heat warning is going to be staying in effect through Sunday evening. Monday, 107 for the high. Windy conditions, though, to start off the work week. And we are cooling down a little bit, 101 even for Wednesday, and then staying in the low 100s for the week ahead. Some relief in sight. Happy Father's Day to all the dads out there. That was your 13 Action News update, and you can always get the latest news at KTNV.com.